Produced with support from Roche and Lily. Colorectal cancer kills around 700,000 people every year. That makes it the fourth most deadly cancer on the planet. But it affects some parts of the world more than others. If we look at the distribution of colorectal cancer, a clear pattern emerges, and it's the most economically developed countries that are hit the hardest. European countries, for example, have long enjoyed a higher standard of living than most, but they're burdened with the highest rates of colorectal cancer. In stark contrast, the lowest rates are found in relatively poor regions of West Africa. The trends can be explained by changes in lifestyle. For example, let's look at the world's most populous country, China. China's economy has boomed in recent decades, and in turn, colorectal cancer incidence has soared. On a population level, greater wealth means bigger appetites. Wealthier people tend to eat more meat and processed foods, smoke more and drink more alcohol. The greatest changes in colorectal cancer rates can be seen in places with the fastest economic growth, such as Shanghai. As populations move from rural to urban settings, people start to exercise less as manual work makes way for office jobs and cars become preferred mode of transport. All of these factors what you eat, how much you exercise, smoke or drink have a big impact on your colorectal cancer risk and they all go hand in hand with economic development. Most people in the world live in countries which are still developing and so the global burden of this disease is destined to continue rising as economies grow. Even more worryingly, in most cases, rates will increase faster than overburdened health systems can cope with and this is only going to get worse. But it's not all bad news, and countries can fight back. In the USA, the largest economy in the world, colorectal cancer incidence has actually been falling in recent decades. The exact causes are unclear, but public health initiatives and awareness-raising campaigns are thought to have played a major role. It remains to be seen, however, whether campaigns like these will be enough to combat the predicted explosion of this disease in many countries in the years ahead. Bye.